Okay, I'm Terry Hunt. I'm the Editor-in-Chief at Arch and Suffolk, the Editor of the East Anglian Daily Times and the Ipswich Star. And we're in the boardroom at Arch and Suffolk. What standard GCSEs do I require to be accepted for a job in your business? Um, you need uh, a minimum of five A-star to C GCSEs and a minimum of two A-levels. Um, we do invariably take graduates these days and we have done probably for 20 years now. Is getting a job just about getting good qualifications and grades or more than that? No, it, it does involve that. Um, you, that's, that's a key element of um, getting a job, certainly in our, in our industry. But it's also about a, a lot more and the key aspect that I look for in any person who, who wants to start a career in journalism is the personality. Anybody with um, good qualifications will be considered, but um, the most important attribute of a good journalist is having an engaging personality so that the person is able to talk to a wide, the widest possible variety of people and also um, make them feel comfortable to talk to them because you, if you, you could have the best qualifications in the world but if you're not able to talk to people and listen to people uh, and, and have a two-way conversation with people then you, you're not going to be a very good journalist because you're not going to uh, gather any information which is what journalists do. What age do you take people into the newspaper industry? Do you take apprenticeships? Uh, no, we haven't taken on apprenticeships, although um, that is something that, that we should consider. Um, generally speaking, we'll take graduates, which obviously means that they're, they're, they're 21 or, or perhaps older. How easy is it to get into the newspaper industry? Very tough. Uh, if I put an advert in, in my paper tomorrow for a trainee reporter, I would probably get something like 150 applicants. Um, so you need to be smarter than just uh, applying for a job uh, and you need to uh, build up your CV and you need to get your foot in the door uh, and you need to convince people like me that you really do have a passion for being a journalist and uh, just pitching up with, a, with a, an application and a CV probably isn't going to get you an interview. What do you expect from a young person that wants a job at your company? I expect them to show me that they've been interested and committed to a career in journalism for a reasonable amount of time. And by that I mean that I would expect to see on, on someone's CV uh, commitment to the, the job. I would expect them to have been involved in, in the school newspaper if such a thing exists, the university newspaper if such a thing exists. I would expect them to have to have got themselves some work experience or a placement or a secondment in, in a place like this or, or a radio station or a magazine or you know just evidence of, of commitment. Um, the best way to actually get your foot in the door is to volunteer to someone like me to say can I come and work for you for two weeks I'm just really really interested and I don't mind making the tea or tidying up the papers or doing the filing. I don't expect to write the front page lead on my first day. But I just want to, to demonstrate how committed I am and I want to know what it feels like to be, in, to be working in a, in a newspaper organisation. How do you decide if they're good enough? The first step is to see how they engage with other people. Um, uh, journalists have to operate with uh, the widest possible variety of people. I mean, we can teach people to be good writers. I don't think you can teach people how to have the right personality. How much could I earn if I worked in the newspaper industry after leaving school or college? We would send you on a training course, and once you completed that course, you would s your very first pay would be £15,000 a year. How much more could I earn if I progressed in the newspaper industry? Uh, journalism isn't the best paid profession. Um, you know, uh, it's difficult to talk about people's salaries, but as I say, as a senior reporter, you would earn 25,000. To go beyond that, you would need to, to, to become a, a section head or a, or a team leader. And, um, you know, if you, if you get to uh, work on one of the national newspapers or national TV, then you can earn lots and lots of money. 
How did you start out in the newspaper industry, particularly here? I tried to get a job here um, in my last year at school, but um, I think I got from 100 applicants, I think I got into the last seven, but they only wanted three uh, actual people to take on, so I didn't get a job, so I went to university instead. I did history at university, and uh, I still wanted to, to be a journalist, and so I wrote to every paper that I could find uh, an address for in the UK, and partly by coincidence, got a job back in my home county. Uh, and I started here as a junior reporter in 1979, which is an awful long time ago now. Did you always want to do this job when you were younger? For as long as I can remember, yes. Um, the reason I wanted to do this job, actually, was because I, I was and still am a mad keen Ipswich Town fan. Uh, and I thought that, well, I was never going to be good enough to play football professionally. And I thought that uh, the next best thing would be to write about uh, Ipswich Town and watch them and get paid for watching them. So that was the reason that I came into journalism. And 34 years later, I haven't, I've never covered a single Ipswich Town game. So it just shows how your career, you know, what you set out to, uh, to achieve, you don't always a a achieve. But, um, you know, I don't think I'm going to do that now. Do you find it stressful being the editor? Uh, yes, um, but uh, I hope that most of the stress is, I, I, in my mind there's positive stress which makes you get up in the morning and come to work and work very, very hard uh, and that, that, that's motivational stress to me. I'm not sure stress is the, right, is the right word. How do you go about finding employees? We'll advertise on uh, industry websites. If we want a junior reporter, then we may well put it put um, an advert in our newspaper. What life skills will I need to get into the world of work that will make me more employable? Uh, okay, I'll come back to um, your personality um, and getting on with people, being able to work as part of a team, being able, able to understand the need to um, uh, accept other people's viewpoints, argue yours, but sometimes um, come to compromises. Uh, and the ability to, to work with other people, empathise with them, encourage them, um, and just actually get on with people. If you've got a brilliant A-levels and a great degree from a good university, that's fantastic. But if you, if you sit in front of me, for example, in an interview and you won't say boo to a goose, or you can't say boo to a goose, then you will not get a job here, and I suspect that would be the same for most employers. They would say, well, this guy is going to, how's he going to operate? So it is having that the self confidence, but not arrogance, but not being you know somebody who 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 blushes every time anyone talks to them. Do you think we are too young to choose what we want to do in life? I think there's an awful lot of pressure on young people these days to actually make decisions on you know life changing decisions very early, and I think there is a, there is pressure on people to to make decisions. I think you should be thinking about it. You should do everything you possibly can to experience as wide a range of work as possible so you understand what work is all about and what what you might land on something you go, wow, that was fantastic, I really want to do that. Or you might go, no, I never want to go back in that building ever, ever again because I couldn't stand spending all my working life doing something like that. So. You know, I would say that at your age, you, you should be soaking up all the experience you possibly can, getting getting as much knowledge about different careers as you possibly can, so that you are in a position to make a good decision um, as early as possible. A recent st statement said that employers are from Venus and young people are from Mars. Do you agree? Is the gap really that wide? Um, I, I can only talk about Suffolk, uh, and I think um, there is some truth in that statement, and I think that's not a good place to be. I think the closer that the world of work and the world of education can work together, the better. And I think there are some really good signs and actually people are waking up to that, both both sectors, education and, and, and business. Because business are realising there's no point in just moaning that, that schools aren't turning out what they want. They've actually got to get stuck in to, to influence the kind of education that, that young people are receiving. And I think it, 
the world of education is receptive to that, is, is becoming more receptive to it. So I think the, the kind of Venus and Mars comparison, I think, there, it, it, the, I think there is some validity in that at the moment, but I'd like to think that in maybe two, three, four, five years' time, that would no longer be true. Should more visits of this kind be organised to help businesses and schools communicate better? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's great for, for young people to come into the world of work and, and see what different uh, employers do. And I think it's really, really good for, for businesses to, to be able to meet young people like you, to, to show them what we do and, and get, a, get a feel for your aspirations and, and, and the challenges facing you as well. Do you think this project will help us when we leave school or go into college? Absolutely. If you've got you've got this on your CV, if you put the if you list down the companies that you've been to and what you've done, and I think it's absolutely essential that um, that you show, you know, potential employers, people like me, that you've actually committed to a program like this, and I think it'll be enormously helpful to you. Lights ready. Camera rolling. Action.